Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What is your life's purpose for Scorpio? This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for October 2022. So we're going to take a look and see how your journey is going uh, regarding your life's purpose, okay? And then we'll finish off the read to see what is your life's purpose and how you could get there. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're uh, looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So uh, also a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watch, flip, twisted, or reverse. This is more so for the Scorpio individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth, okay? But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so. Uh, so Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio here. Tell me about uh, Scorpio's journey when it comes to their life's purpose. How is that going for Scorpio? For October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. Okay, let's see. All right, we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is you right here. Seems like you're putting your heart and soul into yourself right now, okay? You know, there, I feel like right now, currently you're in this really grounded energy. Right now, I feel like you're thinking long term. I feel like you're looking for safety here, like sort of like planning a, a future here for yourself. All right, let's see what else we have. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. King of Cups, that's your energy, could also be Cancer and Pisces energy here. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the King of Swords here. Okay, there's a lot of court cards here. It seems like, I, you know, you could be making plans here or that you could be conversing with others here, conversing with your friends here about, you know, your life in general. Yeah. Perhaps you're seeking advice. Perhaps this is your soul tribe here. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Seems like, you know, you're no, I feel like you're finally feeling confident and safe about where you have to be. Okay, like I said, I feel like you put, you're putting your emotions into this, okay? Uh, I feel like there could be energy of sort of getting out of your head here, but I feel like at the same time, I feel like you're making plans. You know, perhaps that Knight of Cups is the energy of someone here that's moving towards like artwork, okay? Someone here is doing something really artsy. When I see the Knight of Cups, this is, this is someone here who is, you know, kind of like a, kind of a, a bit of a hippie here, okay? Uh, or someone here could be pursuing music, all right? Um, you know, I feel like you have full support of all these people that are in and around you. Uh, you know, this could be family. This could be friends or something like that. This could be a, a romantic partner here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of core cards here, Scorpio. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like, you know, there there is the energy of you uh, setting your goals, uh, setting your sights on a goal here, really pursuing those goals here. Uh, the King of Cups. So why is the King of Cups here? You have the Strength card, Leo energy. So I feel like you do have the confidence here, okay? Um, you know, I feel like it, there is the energy of being seen here. I, it's not, it's not showing here, but I'm getting someone here. It might be a social media influencer when it comes to health and fitness here. So someone here might be doing that. Some of you guys might be doing like multiple different things here, such as also art. Okay, some of you guys might be in the fitness industry here or that you guys are pursuing something in the fitness industry. Okay, the uh, Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Leo energy with that strength card. Queen of Swords. We have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Tell me about this King of Swords here. Why is this King of Swords here? And the Knight of, uh, Nine of Wands. So what's happening here is that Scorpio, I feel like you're doing some, you know, so, like some soul searching. I do feel like you guys are overcoming some traumatic experiences that you guys have been through here some of you guys could have been through 
a physical trauma when you guys were in the military. Maybe some of you guys served in law enforcement, but I feel like you guys, you guys might have retired from that, okay? So I feel like you guys are doing some something different here. Uh, tell me about this uh, Nine of Swords in the reverse, okay? Justice Libra Energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups here and Judgment. You're being called to pursue your higher calling here, and I feel like that's what you're doing here. Uh, so I feel like, you know, there's an energy of leaving a chapter of your life behind and really pursuing something new here, uh, 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 Scorpio. Sagittarius energy with judgment, justice, Libra energy. This is interesting. I feel like you could be clearing out, you know, karmic imprints here from uh, past lives. You know, this could be an indication that you have all these guides and ancestors here. It's uh, kind of like putting you on the right path here. All right. Uh, what else do we have here for Scorpio when it comes to their uh, life's purpose? What is Scorpio's life's purpose and how can they get there for October 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs and Jupiter signs for Scorpio. All right, Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ten of Wands here and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Death card here and the Devil. Okay, so Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, I feel like it's important just to go with the process here, okay? Um, I still feel like there's a, a lot of inner work that needs to be done here, Scorpio, because I still feel like you're carrying a lot, around a lot of burdens here and a lot of fears, and that still needs to be released here, okay? With the death card and the devil, you know, I feel like there's a huge paradigm shift that you're going through here because I feel like, you know, you might have had a very, 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 very tough life, but I feel like things are starting to open up here for you. Or that you're starting to see the light here because i feel like you went through a period of darkness and it could be for example for you know regarding some physical trauma that you've been through here okay um even mo emotional trauma okay um so the death card scorpio energy the devil capricorn energy here tell me about the six of swords i don't I, one of the things i'm getting here is like you know I feel like some of you guys like being in the water or being on boats or something like that. So I don't know if you guys like do yachting on the side here. I'm getting like just a huge array of different things. You know, it could be like yachting, working on boats or something like that. It could be uh, doing something in the health industry here, you know, sort of like being the personal trainer or something like that. And there's like an art thing that's going on here too. Um, we have the two of pentacles and the six of swords, queen of pentacles here and the empress here, Libra Taurus energy. So I feel like you're a bit of a master manifester here, okay? Whatever you do, you know, you're able to manifest and create what you want here. Uh, there's the energy of definitely attracting here. So I do feel like there's a huge paradigm shift. Like I said, you're starting to see the light. You're coming out of the darkness here. You're doing a lot of releasing. You're shedding a lot of layers here. And I feel like you have a lot of support people in the physical world or in the, or in the spiritual realm here. Uh, the Ten of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Moon, okay? Uh, it could be an indication that you're working on sort of like really tapping into your intuition, tapping into your higher self, listening to that inner voice here. The Death card, we have the world. Tell me about the devil here in the Three of Cups. There's an old part of yourself that you're releasing and letting go here. Okay, so I feel like there's an energy of definitely reinventing yourself here, Scorpio, and, and really enjoying your life here now. We have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I feel like regarding your emotional um, fulfillment here, I feel like that's really being fulfilled here or that you're on, uh, you know, or that you're pursuing on fulfilling this. I mean, we have more Cups energy. So I do feel like there's like an art component here that you're trying to pursue. All right, what else do we have here for uh, Scorpio when it comes to their life's purpose? We have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it. You know, this could be about rewriting, you know, the, tra the traumatic experiences that you've been through here. Speaker, your life, your life, your life purpose involves your skills of oration. So, you know, maybe you're sharing a lot of your um, uh, stories to people here. You know, maybe that's the art thing here too. I mean, writing is an art form. 
sensitivity, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So I feel like you're really connected to yourself. Connect your, to yourself, listening to that inner voice here. Just a huge paradigm shift. I mean, just a, a major spiritual awakening that's happening here, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have balance and spirituality and practicality. Luck is on your side. So I feel like you have nothing to worry about. I, I, I do feel like when it comes to this balance and spiritual, spirituality and practicality, like I said, I do feel like there's a lot of guides and ancestors surrounding you here in the spiritual realm that's giving you that guidance that you need. Uh, perhaps, you know, all that spiritual knowledge is being spoken, okay? It is being written in books here, all right? Um, you know, I feel like, you know, this Empress energy is someone here who attracts. So I feel like, you, uh, you know, a lot of people might gravitate towards you, Scorpio, because of that. All right. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.